Hola! I'm going to take you for a little walk today into my favourite Pueblo Blanco in Spain and there's a very good reason why I'm doing it right now. There's a shop here in my home village of Compita which is very important to lots of people here and the previous couple who've been serving the community for much longer than I've been here, Debbie and Alec, they retired at the weekend and I wish them very well in their new adventure. And a new and equally lovely couple, Tony and Sue, have taken over and reopened the doors. So I want to show you what they do, why the shop is important to the community, and along the way, show you some of this beautiful village in the hills of Malaga province in the south of Spain, because all of that explains a lot about what attracted me and Liz here in the first place. Hooray! Uh... But wait! Aren't all of the shops important in Computer? Well, yes, you're absolutely right. And it's important to buy local and support them. There are loads to choose from. However, today is all about Todo Express, which I think sort of means everything quickly. And that's very appropriate because one of the services they provide is PO boxes, which is absolutely vital when you live in the Campo. That means outside the village. We live only just outside the boundary line, but Correos, the post office, won't deliver to a Campo address. So we are part of the majority of the greater population who have to get our letters and parcels delivered into the village. This apparently is very common in Spain. Correos do have their own PO boxes, but here they don't take in big parcels. I don't know if that's the same across the whole of Spain, but it's worth knowing if you're moving here or buying a house. Addresses can be a bit fluid, shall we say. So having a hub for couriers and the post office to take all of the Campo deliveries is so very handy and important. There are one or two other places here that take deliveries for the public, but I think I'm right in saying that Todo has the biggest set of post boxes and they're very efficient in logging in everything as it arrives and emailing everyone to let them know. One very welcome change that Tony and Sue have brought in is staying open an extra half an hour until 2.30 in the afternoon, when most other places shut at 2. Some of the couriers don't get up the mountain until quarter to two sometimes, which doesn't leave much time to get the parcels and letters logged in and the emails out and for people to collect. So there has been very often a last minute rush of customers to see if the Amazon van had arrived, for example. So hopefully the new time will make it easier for us all including Tony and Sue. Hooray! So the shop was buzzing on its opening day with lots of people popping in to welcome the new couple and wish them luck, just as they did last week to say hasta luego to Debbie and Alec. Because Todo is more than just a postal hub, it's a social hub too especially but not exclusively for the English-speaking population, of which there are quite a few. So this is another reason why it's important. Plenty of people who either call themselves expats or immigrants, I'm not having that argument now, live or have properties out in the Campo. So whenever you go into the shop where they all get their deliveries, you're bound to meet up with someone you know, or at least someone who speaks a bit of English with whom you can confidently start up a conversation or ask for some advice. By the way, lots of us immigrants here can speak at least a little Spanish, I'm happy to say, and there's a great mingling of the nationalities and the locals that's a real pleasure to see and hear. Hooray! Uh... Two more important things to mention and I have saved the best for last so stay with me. The first one is food. Whenever there's an English population in the south of Spain there will be an outlet for the sort of foods that English people miss the most when they move to Spain. Why not just eat Spanish food I hear you ask? Well most of us do most of the time but most of us grew up with childhood memories linked forever with certain tastes and products. And there are times when that nostalgia grips you and only HP sauce or Coleman's English mustard will do. And there's no real harm in that, as long as you don't cover everything with ketchup all the time. I mean, you're losing out on a wealth of flavours if you do that. But, you know, sometimes a dash of Worcester sauce or English mustard might add an interesting new slant on your albondigas or paella. Maybe. 
I'm no chef. <laughs> Have you tried a bit of fusion cooking? Tell us all about it in the comments below. Hooray and hurrah! <laughs> the last but definitely not the least important service that this lovely shop provides is selling tickets for events in the village and raffle tickets and merchandise, including for Computer Pride, which finished only last week. I was unfortunately too ill to make any of the celebrations, but I was there in spirit. They had a drag race, men in heels and multicoloured wigs and skirts running through the cobbled streets, everyone getting into the spirit of things. Hooray! Uh. So yeah, Toto advertises fundraisers and lots of events which bring the community together and benefit us all. And right now they're doing a very personal one just for me. This wonderful local community are helping me get through this crazy cancer year I'm right in the middle of. They're putting on a fundraiser at Siddhartha restaurant, very lovely place, to help see me through the months when I'm unable to earn enough. And I don't want to ask for money from the state, I'd rather be paying into the state, into the social security system to support the hospitals and the doctors and nurses looking after me and everyone else who's got cancer or whatever else ails them. Anyway, at this event there are going to be eight bands or eight acts playing, I think, all local musician friends, including my wife Liz. Oh, they're in for a treat there. And there's food and a raffle with uh, really excellent prizes. Everyone's been really generous. <sighs> what a gorgeous bunch of people who make up this multicultural, artistic, multilingual, colourful, musical, wonderful community. I can't thank you all enough. It's difficult to find adequate words. There may be some tears on the night if I'm well enough to make an appearance. It's going to be emotional. I dare say there'll be another party when I'm well enough to start gigging again to say another huge thank you. So I will be back, I promise you, to entertain you all in this place that I'm so proud to call home. Come and visit. I'm going to make a few more videos about my lovely village this year, especially while I can't travel very much. Hopefully some events will fall on the days when I'm feeling strong enough and I can show you what other fun we have in Computer. Hooray! Uh, so join me everyone, it's hooray uh, for Tony and Sue and Toto Express. Hooray uh, for the other shops too. Hooray uh, for HP Source and a huge hooray uh, for this kind-hearted community that never fails to raise a smile. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Click on the like button and leave a comment if you have. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video. Peace and love to everybody. Let's dance.